Welcome to another episode of Nori Ui is Off the Line, your positive source of insights, information, relevant information. We are live on UCAP Television, TBN Philippines, and TBN Asia. And of course, tonight on this program, Dax Valencia of 7107 Souls. But of course, before I bring him on board, I'd just like to promote again a couple of timings regarding our TV broadcast. So it's going to be on TBN Asia. It is, by the way, dependent on your cable provider, guys. So I cannot provide you with a specific channel. Are they going to be on? Uh, so please check with your cable listings um, for TBN Philippines or TBN Asia. Now, every Tuesday, we are going to be airing at 8 p.m., every Thursday at 8 p.m., and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. We will also be live every Wednesday at 11.30 p.m. on Hillsong Channel. And uh, also, of course, uh, May 11 is fast approaching, and uh, I am very um, excited about this uh, first-time online concert that we are going to be doing for the benefit of Project Kalinga, Project Refuge, Open Doors, and some of our less fortunate Christian artists in the Philippines, and that is the Magpuri Pilipinas Live, an online benefit concert. Uh, there's a lot of partners that were able to uh, join us um, on this very special cause. It's the first time that UCAP is ever doing it. We are used to doing it in person. You know, the live um, activities, we go to the venues and pack them with worshipers. That is going to be the first time that we will be doing it online. Because again, we are in the middle of this crisis. So, you know, crisis won't be able to stop us, guys. So, by the way, if you are inclined into donating... Please get in touch with us. You can uh, message me on my uh, page, Nori Ui, or you can message UCAP Television or UCAP Network um, or TBN Philippines or TBN Asia. You can message any of these platforms in regards to your donations. And of course, later on, on um, towards the end of the program, we will also be sharing donation details so that um, you know you would know how to be able to help us uh, into you know the, into progressing positively um, against against this crisis, uh, you know it it has done so much uh, damage to the economics and uh, whatever uh, you may call it. But there's just a lot of damage against people, against businesses, against regular folks. So uh, you know. Well, tonight, there won't be any damage. Tonight, we will be talking positivity. Tonight, we will be talking about God, about ministry, life transformation, 7107 souls, and more. And here we go with Mr. Dax Valencia. Magandang gabi sa'yo, Sir Dax. How are you doing? Hi, brother. Good evening. And to your listeners, good evening, Ben. I'm good. I'm great. I'm doing great. How are you, sir? A great, great, sir. Thank you for asking. Long time, no? Long time. Sir, that's right, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. It's the last time na nakita tayo, last time we were together, of course, we were working in on, on the same company. Um, we were right. on a... Uh, we were on a floating status, no? Kasi ganun talaga ang buhay. Eh. Pa-float, float means, <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, yes, that was like three years ago. Was it three years ago? Three, three years ago. Uh, May three years na. Yeah. Three years na, brother. Oh. Three years ago. Grabe, grabe. Well, anyways, you know, what is three years? You know, it, it brings us great amount of catching up to do. And uh, for positive, uh, you know, for positivity's sake, yung catch up natin. Huh? Sir Dax, uh, you know, I want to start off the conversation lightly because this should be a light conversation. Um, I remember, we hindi pa tayo floating noon. Siyempre, we will uh, go back uh, time in memorial, ano? Just a few years ago lang naman. Pero remember, during our uh, petics moments, na minsan mm-hmm. nagkakakwentuhan tayo, uh, we're, we're, right. then we were just talking about positivity we were talking slightly about god kasi medyo careful ako noon dahil hindi ko alam how i will attack your uh, persona eh. right. so, <laughs> and then you know later on it evolved and now you are a christian can you tell us more into your journey paano nangyari yan sir 
Okay. All right. So, a couple of years back, I think it was in 2018, when me and my wife um, decided to have water uh, water baptism. That was, mm-hmm. I think, February of 2018. Mm-hmm. So, um, but prior to that, we have been going to um, church every Sunday to live with our kids. So, nag-start yun, actually, sila muna eh. Si mm-hmm. wife ko, and the mga kids, every Sunday. Kasi at that time, my schedule with work was from 4 a.m. till 1 p.m. Manila mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And ang church is at 10.30 a.m. service. Mm-hmm. So, yun mm-hmm. yung ina-attendant na kasi yung mga kids. Um, may Sunday school sila eh. So, mm-hmm. yun yung time na akmang-akma para makapag church sila. At the same time, pag naman out ko na, which is at 1 p.m., masusundo ko na sila. So, 10.30 to 11.30, they would do service. Um, stay up until 1 p.m. and then wait for me. That went up until for six months. So, six months after nagbago yung schedule ko, sabi ko, itamang tama, perfect timing. Um, makakasama sa ako. Uh, makasama na ako sa family ko makapag uh, church for Sunday. Mm-hmm. So yun, uh, eventually, that was my first time to attend yung um, Sunday worship sa church namin. Uh, but I've had previous experiences but it was like 10 years ago na nakapag-church mm-hmm. ako. Um, so sa buwan na ganun set, set up or setting. Pero mm-hmm. hindi tumuloy eh. It didn't materialize until this uh, time, the second time around na nag-retuloy siya. So, ito, yun. Um, it started there. Then from there, moving forward, ako din now, naging consistent na yung pag um, punta ko namin sa church. Every Sunday, we go to church. And mm-hmm. uh, basically, yun lang. Doon talaga nang start. So, what mga, made you decide this, sec- yung... this time around? What, you know, what Pardon? made you pursue? Sorry, brother. What made you pursue this time? Oh, okay. Ayan, um, the, the Lord has been knocking on my door. Um, when I was still single, nararamdaman ko na eh, na parang kinakatak na ako. I, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a self-confessed in that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've had biceps, um, which are not really good. And mm-hmm. one of them is smoke. So, namin ko ng mga bisyo and um, in, in, a, in a work environment na yung setting ay medyo panggabi. So, um, medyo madaming issues na pumapaligid doon. So, mm-hmm. that time kasi single ako eh. I was happy go lucky. Um, friends would invite me to go to church. My team lead back then invited um, go to church with her. Um, but, sa beses lang nangyari eh. That was, mm-hmm. parang, hindi ko nagustuhan, or, super hesitant, and, mm-hmm. I'm not sure what, the, the born again Christian setting is all about that time. And, again, that was, 10 years ago, medyo, yun nga, single pa ako, 10, 15 years ago. And, nung, nagkaroon na ako ng family, nagkaroon na ako ng kids, Doon na nagbago eh. Doon na nagbago yung parang pananaw ko. Kumbaga, I felt ashamed because my kids were going to church. Pero I was not. <laughs> so parang it's weird. <laughs> Baligtad, no? Go to Sunday school. Baligtad. Baligtad. So parang uh-huh. medyo iba yung ano eh. Tapos, um, ayun, then I tried. And I, I remember one of our managers back then told me na, oh, that's I remember when you, when you get closer to him, dyan dumarating yung mga pagsubok. And Correct. True enough, things happen na hindi natin naasahan. Like, mm. yeah, yung pag-float natin, um, <laughs> and yung kawala ng work. So, basically, yun yung pinaka-talagang katok eh. Nung mm. nagkawala ako ng work, parang... A year before that, Mabi resigned. My wife uh, resigned mm-hmm. from, from, from work. So, 
dalawa na kami walang birth. Tapos, mm. we have four. And this, it, this is the time that you are trying to to make it up with God, no? That's right. That's right. Oh. So, yun yung time na nag, nag um, consistent church kami every Sunday and we also do yung mga Bible studies. We have a D-group, a discipleship group. We have this um, setting na every other Saturday we meet. Um, and yun, yun yung time na nagiging close tayo kay, uh, kay God. And eventually, yun nga, true enough, dumating yung mga problema na hindi natin inatahan. Um, but na-test talaga yung faith. Na-test mm-hmm. yung faith. And sabi ko nga, parang um, kung kaya na ako naging napalapit kay Lord, parang doon talaga, talaga ako tinitest na parang uh, ano ba nangyayari? Mm-hmm. Ano ba tanong? Ano ba tanong na nasasagot din naman nila? Sagot din naman nila. And, and basically, you know, I think that's uh, pretty much normal for any, you know, Christian, especially in the first few days, weeks, months, or even years of being a Christian. No? Kasi minsan talaga, nagkakaroon tayo ng, ano eh, ng, yung, di ba, sobrang eager natin to become brand new. And at the same time, may tinatawag yung, yung salitang kanto, yung kontrapelo. Diba? Uh, okay. habang, habang ginagawa mo yung, yung gusto mong gawin talaga which is to make it up with God maging maayos ang buhay mo bigla namang dyan papasok ngayon yung mga lahat ng klase ng obstacles, ng challenges na parang di pong dati hindi naman nangyayari sa akin to eh kung kailan naman ako nagiging uh, gusto kong maging maayos yung landas ko tsaka naman nagkakandasira-sira So an- ano yung ano uh, if there is any so that you know our viewers can also learn from from your testimony what is it that you probably have learned or God has taught you um, during this trying time nung bago ka pa lang Okay all right so basically yung sa akin nararamdaman ko is yung pag-test ng humility ko eh yung test ng uh, ni Lord towards my the whole package as in mm-hmm. yung being humble, being down to earth, being you know, simple. Um, parang dumating ako sa point kasi na I was proud mm-hmm. na parang not with the whole you know, universe, probably with the whole world, pero I, I would tell people, I would tell my wife, I would tell you know, my friends and relatives um, mm-hmm. of my position perhaps, or how much I'm getting, or how much I'm, you know, um, earning, which is, hmm. parang, in a way, um, tinanggal sa akin yun, Lord. Tinanggal hmm. sa akin na, uh, dati we have two sources of income, um, pero hindi kami nakapag-type. Ngayon, hmm. I only, only have one. Kasi si, si wife ko, si Mabi, hindi na siya nag-work ulit eh. Nag-focus hmm. na siya sa kids. Kasi we have yeah, five. Kasi you So, <laughs> ayun, um, with one source of income, medyo talagang, it was really hard. Um, mm-hmm. Especially nung nawala ako sa, sa una natin, um, or sa pangalawang BPO ko, which mm-hmm. I was for 10 years. I worked there for 10 years and worked my, you know, my, my, my um, status of become, becoming a manager, uh, becoming... Mm-hmm one of the team leads and then um, for, for seven years I was handling a team and I was basically um, leading a team and then all of a sudden no, wala so pagpasok ko ngayon sa bagong work ko bumaliktad bumaliktad yung situation kumbaga para mm. naging back to zero ko eh I have to, mm. to go back to zero So, mm-hmm. parang uh, ang tinuturo sa akin ni Lord is um, you, have, you have to realize and be thankful of what you have. Kasi yung, yung time na meron ka, nung, meron ka nung position, meron ka okay yung, well, it's financially stable. I could mm-hmm. say na we could um, basically eat out mm-hmm. pag may mga birthdays, 
mga British ng mga anak ko uh, versus ngayon na talagang we have to um, you know, special budget na pagkasahin yung kung what, what I'm currently earning. Kasi dati mm-hmm. medyo dalawang source of income, medyo kaya pa eh. Maluwag, oo. Eh, kami ni Mabi eh. Tapos, um, medyo mas, mas okay yung, yung um, uh, financial status sa labi natin. And then all of a sudden, bigla na nawala yun. And nung nawala yun, sobrang bigat. Kasi yung dalawa kami nawalan ng mga pilay. Pilay talaga. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember na talagang what made me, you know, what impact talaga nga ng pag um, sano sa akin there, this, there was this one time na uh, wala na kami makain and we hit rock bottom talaga na um, I have to provide and have to cook something for my kids. Kasi kami ng wife ko, okay lang, hindi kami kumain, pero I have three kids, four kids at that time. So, wala akong provide. Kasi wala na akong work eh. So, I have to cook toyo, sibuyan, at saka bahawang sinama-sama ko. And this, is, this is recent? Pero walang laman, walang ka. So, this, this is this recent? Was, uh, three years ago. Oh, uh, three years. 2017, 2018, nung talagang totally, mm, okay. uh, wala na akong um, work. So, yeah. medyo six months, mga six months yun, eh, four or five months yun. Eh. So, oh. that happened. And what made me thankful that day was, nung pre-repair ko yun, hinanda ko yun sa mga anak ko, na-appreciate ng babae kong anak. Sabi niya, wow, papang sarap. <laughs> so, sabi ko, oh my God. Kung maga parang uh, masarapan siya sa luto ko, thankful ako. Pero, I think na that was just, you know, soy sauce with onions and pawang sibuyas technically adobong wala adobong lutaw ganun lang then mm. parang alam mo yung gusto mong maiyak na parang hindi mo pwedeng ipakita sa kanila kasi pag umiyak ka pinakita mo sa kanila manginginahan sila ng loob so yun yung Uh-oh. parang time na sabi ko napaka um, bagsak na bagsak ako pero we can give up kasi yun lang continuously we did pray for provision, we prayed for um, work, na magkaroon mm-hmm. ako ng work. At that time, talagang I was looking for a job. I was looking for mm-hmm. a job. I, I um, went for a job. I texted a couple of friends. I messaged mm-hmm. a lot of friends um, asking for, uh, you know, for a mag- job. I oh. for PA. And hindi ko, hindi ko kinahiya yun eh. Kasi kung baga parang mm-hmm. if I pag pinahiya, uh, pinahiya ko yun, magugutom yung family ko. So, yun yung nasa isip ko rin. And, mm-hmm. fair enough, nung pagpasok ko dito sa bagong birth ko, uh, which is also a call center in, in North, mm-hmm. uh, North, in North, um, mm-hmm. kinanggap ko yung role on a lesser income um, and an agent role. And, yun, kaya sabi ko, humility talaga tinuro sa akin, Lord. Right? Kasi, yeah. the first few months, brother, I was crying. The first few months. Kasi, um, not because I was an agent, but because mm. of the pay. Kasi, ang laki ng binaba ng pay. So, yun mm. yung struggle. Pero, sabi ko, And you ko, needed I to compensate be, kasi nga, one income na lang kayo. That's right. Exactly. Mm. Yun yun. So, one income, tapos bumaba pa yung um, sweldo. So, medyo talagang mag-strap. Pero, so, Christ so, so that, was, that was your transition phase, no? So, when we talk about yes. today, so h- how is mm-hmm. it now? Has it been better or paano? Um, in, in terms of pay, um, it has been better. Kasi that instance, um, really taught me a lot. They really taught mm. me how to be, you know, um, thankful of the things that I have, mas maging matipid, mas maging ma- ma- marunong sa pagpapadya. Mas maging wise, no? So, medyo kailangan nung maging provide. Mas kailangan nung maging talagang, ano mo, good provider. And the good thing about this brother is that, yung nga sabi ko, before, 
Christian administration kami sa sa Christian um set is one against set pero I don't give rights. Pero ngayon, bakit kaya grabe na nagulat kasi kung kailan naging fixed income, naging tight na yung budget, nakapag-tight pa kami. Sinabi ko parang, ay, ano nang nangyari? As a chicken chicken nang gagaling, but then truly God provides. So, yeah. yung wife ko talaga sa bahay namin, may nakalagay, God will provide. Kasi talaga yun yung pinangukulan na. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I'm really very happy for you guys kasi, uh, you know, with with that kind of story, with with that transition, no? kasi pretty much it's a negative transition eh. when you talk, when we think about it. Uh, but mm-hmm. then, of course, we all know that, you know, God's light shines brightest in the darkest of moments. And if we didn't have a dark moment, we cannot, and we can never learn. Uh, and so, I'm... I'm one right. with you when you say that, you know, it, it was a challenging time kasi lahat naman tayo nakakaranas ng challenges. Especially when we are trying to, you know, to be, be, to be a better person. Ganyan ang ano eh, ganyan, <laughs> ganyan yata ang, uh, you know, the way of life of a Christian. Sabi nga nila, it's hard to be a Christian. That's why, you know, whenever I speak to people, sinasay ko palagi, it's not the easiest of lifestyles. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, guts and willpower. <laughs> Tama, di ba? <laughs> yeah, so, and, yeah, and, anyways, I'm, I'm so blessed with your testimony, sir. Uh, you know, that's one for the books for me talaga. And I'm really, again, I'm really proud of you and Mabi, and uh, I really pray and hope that, you know, over time, God will continue sustaining you, providing for your needs. And um, whatever it is that you need, I'm sure God will always uh, provide and do what He said He will do. Moving on. Uh, let's talk about uh, your yep. other ministry naman. Let's talk about it. So, y- you can introduce. Wag sure. na ako, ikaw na lang. Okay. So, um... Is it 7107? Or mm. do they have another project? Kahit ilan, sir. Um, kahit ilan. We, we still have seven minutes to discuss about it. <laughs> so, just for the record, no, um, kasi I was really, talagang nagulat ako nung pinext mo ako. Brother, how, mm. ano, how are you? How 7107? Yeah, so, sa totoo lang, um, people have been you know, sending messages texting, what happened to 7107, kailan ko tuloy ko, kailan babalik, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tuloy natin ko. So, uh, 7107 is still there. Um, it's just that, you know, when we became fully uh, commit, uh, Christ committed followers, medyo natamaan ko na sa isang um, uh, scripture, which is yung um, Matthew 6 verse 4. So sa mm-hmm. sa um, verse kasi na ito sabi niya um, So that your giving will be in secret and your father will see what is done in secret will reward you do not sound a trumpet whenever you give to the poor So mm-hmm. parang when you give to the poor um do not sound a trumpet before you uh, mm-hmm. as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may be honored by men. Surely I say to you that they have their reward in you. So, but don't get me wrong. Um, nothing wrong with you know showing your or sending pictures of what you're giving to people. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the conviction I mean, maybe the time was um, if we're gonna give, siguro hindi na namin ibubrod sa or siguro para may mga papakita lang kami mga kung ano yan pero not much more of the hype wala nang benta mm. wala nang ito wala nang um, promotions and ads yeah. mga ganun so siguro parang in secret kasi um, uh, yun nga may pagkakit mong tama sa ating universe mm, yun and yung condition namin talaga parang nag-iba um, mm. my friends ask kung magtutuloy ba we can we can always you know, uh, continue with the, with the um, advocacy, pero yun lang, siguro limited na yung mga pagpapakita ng pictures or kung may sponsors, siguro you know, we're still open we're still open and um, siguro yung isa pa is that yung isang vision ko for 2020 this year 
um, I spoke with the Lord. I asked Him if I could, you know, um, encourage people by sharing the gospel to at least one person every month. So, so far, I have had four people. Uh, January, February, March, April, you know, first quarter, um, nabuo ko na, meron akong mga kaibigan mm-hmm. na nasharean ko ng, uh, ng gospel. Mm-hmm. And I plan to continue mm-hmm. this until the end of the day, until, you know, 2020, 2021, and moving forward, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. I hope to inspire more people, friends, relatives, na, you know, at least um, learn, learn about God and just share the gospel with them. So, you know, isa yung... Um, at least once a month. Pa, at least one. One person yeah. a month. Kung kaya ang dalawa, why not? So, yeah. mas maganda. <laughs> diba? Correct, Pero at correct. least isa lang, okay na. Okay na. Okay. Yeah. Every month. Yeah. Well, that's that's nice, huh? That's a good uh, activity or initiative that you're trying to do. But, but you know, sir, I just want to go back to uh, to your seven one zero seven. I'm not gonna okay. dispute your, uh, no, uh, your your uh, conviction because that's yours, eh? Okay. Each one, you know, has its own conviction. Um, but if you ask me, naman, I was just gonna say, you know, uh, it's okay to do it uh, because right. sometimes, naman, diba, yung mga advocacies natin, uh, it needs sustainability. The the reason why right. we are telling people about where, what we're doing is that hindi natin sinasarili yung, yung blessing, hindi natin sinasarili yung activity as much as possible. We would want them to get involved. And plus, we're not the richest of people, so we need help. And how can they help if they don't know nothing about what we're doing, di ba? So unless, unless you are broadcasting or publishing na meron kang uh, hidden agenda, that's, that's a totally different story. And I believe in this, sir. Um, however we we do things it will always be revealed by God in due time so whether our intention right. is ju- really to help or, or otherwise that's no longer you know my problem or somebody else's problem it's your problem with God so yun lang sayang kasi eh. ako natutuwa ako 7107 eh ang ganda nung advocacy nun sir tama tama again we're, we're open we're um okay with any plant naman na uh, kung may dumating na uh, blessings we will share and again friends people they test they, they, they text to me they send me messages but you know kita ko naman sa kanila na gusto naman nila so uh-huh. with with, you know, with more um accurate procedures siguro like yeah. what to post um, what to tell people siguro we can mm-hmm. we can continue with the advocacy kasi ako rin nami-miss ko na din eh nami-miss ko rin yung parang oh at saka pag-usapan so, uh, natin siguro offline sir um, yeah. of course you know by now that I'm connected with a uh, with a record label with you know with a produ- TV producer radio producer and you know there's just a lot of opportunities that we can do in terms of kamukha nito magpuri Pilipinas that we are doing on Monday um, right. You know, it's a benefit concert. Um, so, this is for the benefit of frontliners. Uh, kasi yung uh, Project Kalinga at Project Refuge, they're buying PPEs, face shields, face masks, yung mga equipment na ginagamit. Uh, so, dalawang uh, ganon. Plus, we, we are also going to be helping Open Doors. Open Doors is a, an organization that helps persecuted Christians around the world. So can you imagine that even in the Philippines meron pa rin ganon? Plus, there are also people in our network that are less fortunate than ours uh, situation and so we needed to make sure that they are also taken care of kasi wala naman ibang mag-aalaga or magtitingin sa kanila. So, you know, these kind of things we can probably collaborate in the future. We can always talk sure. about it. At I'm, I'm glad yeah. to know na open pa rin. Open, open tayo, open tayo. Um... Yun lang, may mga conviction tayo na, ano eh, na parang, yeah. I mean, um, guided. And pwede yung pag-usapan yan. <laughs> pwede yan, pero pwede. Definitely first. Still yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just been yung group, I just yung pag, pag, you know, pagpunta-punta sa ito. Yeah. Um, lugar na, um, pwede natin tulungan. Yeah, And, you know, those kind uh, of activities, ang ganda niyan, sir. Ang ganda talaga pag-usapan yan. Sir Dax, any parting words to our viewers? Um, 
for me, uh, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you, uh, Brother Enriquez, for uh, inviting me here. Um, Pleasure, for, sir. Uh, for making me one of your guests. Uh, um, Long overdue. <laughs> and <laughs> yun lang. So, um, I, I would love to reach out to as many people as I can. As I said earlier, gusto kong makashare ng gospel, gusto kong makashare ng word of God um, to all people uh, that I can, siguro. Now, um, you can send me a personal message. Uh, my name is Dax Valencia. You can you know, um, go to Facebook or Instagram. Yun lang naman, Dax Valencia lang. Uh, you can send me a message if you wanna... You know, we chat and talk about um, God um, or probably 7107 talk if you want to have mm-hmm. you know, collaborations we can. Again, we're still open to that. Um, and yun, uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, brother, for the opportunity. It's it's my pleasure, sir, and uh, you know I hope we can do this again with a with sure. a longer time uh, that we are allotted uh, than today. But anyways, uh, again, again, thank you. It's my pleasure having you on board, ladies and gentlemen. Dax Valencia of Seven One O Seven Souls, truly God transformed person. You know, it's a living testimony that God can change from whatever situation to a better one. And, you know, with those transitions, God will continue to provide and God will continue to comfort any discomforts that you will feel during your transition. Until our next episode of Off The Line, this has been your host, Nori Uy. Diyan lamang po kayo. Mag-ingat po kayo. Stay home. Be safe.